This puzzle is a request by Graham Fisher. He found it on the Cracking the Cryptic channel. It was published July 19th, 2019. My name is Harold Nolte. I've been doing Sudoku for a number of years now. I have over 170 videos on this channel. I usually solve five or six puzzles a day. Some days I solve several more, many more than that. Uh, with all those uh, videos out there, you can find specific skill levels or specific techniques and patterns by going to the video index on sudokuprimer.com. You can also download free blank Sudoku grids from that website and there's lots of other um, Sudoku information out there. Now if you have a question about me solving this puzzle or any other, any other Sudoku questions, please leave a comment. And if you have a puzzle you'd like me to, to possibly solve on a, in a video, please leave, the, leave, the, leave that on a comment also. Now Graham gave me the first number here. It's a three, and that's because this cell can see every other number but three. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And with this three, we can uh, get helps us get started, you know, get going pretty well on this puzzle. So we've got a three here, and a three here. So we have ghost threes here. So ghost threes, three, and a three and a three there, so we know that's a three. That is a six, that's pretty obvious. And then this is a six also. Both of those should be pretty self-explanatory. Now we have a nine here got a 9 there, so a 9 could be either here or here, but we've got a 9 here and a 9 here, so these are ghost 9's right here. So that can't be a 9. Now with this 9 filled in here, we've got a T pattern right here. We have a 4 and a 6 here, so we have 4 6 twins right here. And there are only two, two other empty cells in this box, and they are 5 and 8. So we have 4, 6 twins, 5, 8 twins. We can't solve either of those, but they're, they're going to help us here. We can put a 5 here, and that 5 takes uh, a couple of different techniques in order to find it. First of all, We've got a 3 and a 3 here, so these ghost 3's we talked about. We've also got the 5, 8 twins here, and a 5 there. So these are actually five, 3, 5 twins. So we have 3, 5 twins there, 5, 8 twins there. So the 5 has to go in one of these two cells in box 2. Now why doesn't it go there? Because we have a corner pattern right here. And with this corner pattern and this 5 here, we know these are ghost 5s. So we know that can't be a 5. So we place the 5 there. Now let's look at the row 3 right here. We're missing 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, and 6. That's a 2 or a 6. And there's 2, or, two and 6 there, so we know that's a 4. There's a 2 there, so we know that's a 6, and so that's a 2 right there. Now with this 2, we know this is that's a 6 right there, and if you remember our 4, 6 twins there, we can complete those because we filled in that 6 right there. All right, now we have three five twins here, so we know what these two numbers are. One, four, five, six, seven, 
8. 1, 8. And there's a 1 there. So we can solve them. And we've only got two numbers missing here. 1, 1, 8 there. We've got a 1 here and a 1 here. This is a gate pattern. The gate is right here between the 2 and the 3. And the 1 goes through the gate. And there's a 1 there, so we know one of these is a 1. There's a 1 there already, so we can fill that one in. And we can solve the 1, 8 twins right there. All right, now we've got an 8 here and an 8 here and an 8 there, so we know that's an 8. Now we have 6, 8, a 6 and an 8 in this box already. A 6 and an 8 in this box already, so we know those are 6, 8 twins right there. So what else are we missing in this row? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4, 5, and 7. There's a 7 there, so we know these are 4, 5 twins, and there's the 7. So now we have 4, 5 twins here and 6, 8 twins there. see what we're missing here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4, 5, and 9. We have a 4 there. If you remember, we have ghost 5s there. So ghost 5s and a 4, so that's a 9. And so there's only one other number here. We have 5 and 7. 5 and 7 there. So what are these two numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2 and 9 are now missing there. And there's a 9 there. And we're only missing two numbers here. 2, 7. 2, 7. So we can solve those. Now we have a 6 and a 9 here, 6 and 9 there, and 6 and 9 there. So we know these are 6, 9 twins. Uh, we also have a 9 there, so we can solve those. Now you remember our 6, 8 twins here. We've got a 6 there now. So we can finish those. Let's look at row 9 here. 4, 5, 7. 4, 5, and 7 missing. 4 and 7 with that 5. This is 5 and 7, if you remember. 5, 7 twins. 4, 7, 5, 7. There's a 4 there, so that's 5, 7. So 5, 7 twins, and there's a 4, 7. Or, I mean, a, that's got to be a 4. We've got a 7 there, so we can put the 7 right there. And I don't think we can solve the 5 7s yet. No. Okay. But now we've got, with this 7 here, we can solve these 5 7s. Five there, five there, so we can finish the that row. And with this five, we can solve the five eights that we knew about here. And now we have three five twins there and one nine twins there, if you remember. We'll have one eight twins now here. The only two numbers left for this box. So that can't be a 1. And we had 4, 5 twins here. We've got a 4 there, so we can finish those. And now with the 5 there, we can solve the 3 5s. And a th 
three there, three there, so that's a three. Now we've got one, two, two, nine there. We still have four fives here we can't solve. Let's look at row four here. We're missing two, four, five, two, four, five. There's a two and a five, so that's a four. These are four, five twins, so we know what we can do those. That's a two, only number left in that row. All right, now we've got a five there. We're missing three, seven there. Let's see what we can do with column one here. One, two, three, five, six, seven. 2, 3, and 7 we're missing. So that's a 3 or 7. There's a 2 and a 3, so that's a 7. And that's a 3, that's a 7. And that's a 2. And now we can do, uh, let's see, 1, 4. 1, 4 there. Solve our one eights there now. And three, three eight left there. And that's it. So, all right. So, with their um, finding this five was pretty instrumental in getting, getting this puzzle solved. We found these three five twins, and we had these four six twins and five eight twins right here. That helps us find that five and that four. And then we started finding lots of numbers up here. And once we did that, uh, the puzzle was pretty easy after that. So, well, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.